Hey guys, it's Robin back at you one more again. I hope everybody is having a fabulous Friday. Thank God it's the weekend. Whew, it's been a long week. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good. I am doing great. You know, I've been going through a lot. Um, I know if you guys have probably been keeping up with um, my dad and everything, uh, my aunt finally was able to get the estate, which I was happy for them, um, but it's just, you know, I'm still longing to be with my family and everything, but I'm not going to give up, and my video today is about don't give up, and I was going to wish my mom, uh, Vicky P., um, her birthday was May 28th, um, it was a, a few days, probably about 10 days after mine, May 19th, and then my dad's birthday, June 7th, so, um, I went ahead and celebrated that, and I was actually in good spirits, um, I just talked to a lot of people on Facebook, and, you know, they were, you know, saying nice things to me and all that stuff, or, you know, hit me up on Messenger and everything, so I appreciated all that. So, it's just like when I was telling you guys, when you are going through something and you keep hitting that brick wall, you have to be like you're the force not to be reckoned with, okay? You just keep going through that wall. Do not ever give up on the things that you want. There's, you know, you're going to go through things and it's just like you, you try to really figure out, you know, what? Why am I going through this? And, you know, why, you know, why are you going through all the things that you're going through? But there's always a purpose for it. We may not understand it. There's things that we go through, you know, people pass away. And, you know, with my situation, my my family did the ultimate to me. But I'm not going to let that stop me. Um, I was proud of myself because I didn't snap this time. You know, it was, it was okay. Because it's just like, you know what, I got to, I had to look at a, part, uh, a good perspective, a positive perspective. I was able to celebrate my dad all by myself, you know, and it was just, it was okay. So, um, when you're going through things, let me pause this because my phone's ringing, I'm sorry. Sorry, that was my soul sister, Oracle Jen. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to you. Um, many blessings to go to her. Please keep her in your prayers. Um, she's still going through her journey also. Um, and it, it's, it's just, it's always a blessing. You never know what is meant to be when you connect with people and it is just like with me and her, we have such a good connection because basically we're going through the same thing. I'm you know, I'm yearning to be back with my family, and she's yearning to be back with her daughter, and it's just a connection with her, it's just the fact is, she's going through exactly what my father went through with me, you know, basically, he was fighting the system to try to get me back, and it, it was just crazy, I just don't know how the situation went about, you know, if they had an agreement or whatever, all I know is I kept on remembering my mom saying, you know, I held my end of the bargain, I did my part, you know, um, I did what I was supposed to do, you know, but she said she wasn't going to go down for the stuff that he was doing, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be editing what my mom said, but I'm just basically saying clean version, I'm not going to jail for you, so, um, it's okay because it's just like it used to hurt me when I keep getting these visions like they're celebrating they were just so happy that things ended the way it did but you never know what's going on behind closed doors you never know what the universe has in store so it's just the fact is when I synchronize and I see things and I meditate and you know, I think positive, even though I have my moments, I'm not going to lie, I have my moments, I am human, just like everybody else, I get upset, because the fact is, it's not about the money situation, it's just, I have a right to know who my, my family is, and it's like, I, I had to let go of that anger of, you know, my, my family has everything that, that I possibly need to reconnect with my family, and just because things have gotten so deep and you, you don't want to have to explain that, you just don't 
oh, I don't know what you're talking about. So it, it, it's just, I have to keep my prayers up because I know I'm not going to constantly keep going through the things that I'm going through. And that's what keeps me strong every day, just to know, you know, things are going to get better. You know, I, I go through things at my job and it, it's just like, okay, um, I see things how, you know, it's clear now. And I'm okay. I'm just like, I'm fine. You know, upset about it for a minute, but I'm just like, you know what, you've been through this before. So you already knew what to expect. So this time it doesn't really bother you. So it is just, you have to have a good mindset. You have to keep, even though that devil is going to have your back, that's, that's your strength right there is the things that you go through. Don't let that hinder you. Don't let that stop you from getting to where you need to be pleased. I, I've gotten to that point where I almost want to stop five minutes before the, you know, before the race is over. I'm not going to do that. Um, I refuse to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it moving and do what I need to do because I'm gonna I'm gonna go reunite with my family. I say affirmations, like I said, I meditate and everything. And it is just that I am so grateful for, you know, the universe, angels, oracles, you know, God, you know, my spirit guides and my dad, you know, just for blessing me with the gifts that I have just for me. You know, I don't like it when people, you know, I know it's sad that just the fact is I have not met my dad, but I have to look at it how my dad has wrote songs about me that now I can connect with him. And it's, it, it was like he prepared me for what I was going to go through. And it's just the fact that he's not physically here. I know, you know, if you love somebody, there's never any death. Like my dad always says, if there's love, there's no death. So I know he's transcends you know, transition, it transitioned to a, a greater being. So it, it's just a fact where he can go ahead and give me that knowledge of love and just let me know how much he has cared about me. That's what's helping me heal my heart. It's just to know, you know, people just like when they hear my stories, like, oh my God, that's so upsetting. You know, you never got a chance to meet your dad. You know, how could your family do that to you? And I'm just like, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but, um, I just know that with my prayers, guys, please keep me in your prayers, um, that things are going to be okay, I have another opportunity, it's getting ready to come up, and I'm not going to give up, you know, I just told my dad, I just don't want to get my hopes up and get disappointed once again, <laughs> I said, but I'm just going to keep positive that, you know, even if things don't work out the way I want it to, you know, there's always another strategy. But I'm just going to keep positive on the way this is working. It should be able to do it. So um, I'm not going to jinx myself and talk about it this time. <laughs> so I'm just going to be grateful that things are going to happen. So um, if it's you guys' first time coming to my page, thank you. You can read the description um, on my channel about, you know, it, it's, it's just a heartbreaking story that, um, that, I was adopted and um, I wasn't able to be with my father or be with my mother. You know, I yearned all the time to be, you know, near my family. I always wonder who did I look like or whatever. And it's just the more that I've found out, the more research I've done, you know, it was just amazing that I knew that my mom's, my Vicky. Her birthday was May 28th, and I'm like, gosh, that's only not even a good 10 days after mine, you know, and that had to be tragic for, you know, by the time I got ready to go with social services, it was like a day right before her birthday, so I'm just like, dad, was I doomed from the time I was born, <laughs> you know, and then it's just like, now it's my dad's birthday, so it, it, it's just, I, I look at all the the coincidences it's just like my birthday is just like a few days after mother's day and my dad's is just like you know about a week after father's uh before father's day so it, it's just it's just really crazy how i'm like really connected to my family and like my, my birthday me and my aunt tika is, is the same day too so i mean it, it's just so many things that i've been going through and it's just like it really wasn't important where I wanted to go ahead and um, make a video about it but it's just like 
I know a lot of us are going through things. Heck, all of us are going through different battles with different devils. But just don't give up. Things are not going to always be the way it is. Even though it might seem like things are not working out for your greater good, maybe you had to go through this to make you stronger. You might be going through things. You might have lost a house, lost a child, you know, got separated like me, trying to find your family. But it has made me a better person because I look at look back at months ago, I was just, you know, <laughs> it was really bad. But I can sit up here and say, you know, you're going to have your days where you're going to cry. You're going to be upset. You're going to be questioning, like, God, do you even love me? Does anybody care? But you have to think in your mind, you matter. You're going through this for a reason. You're not going to always go through this. You're going to have people betray you, stab you in your back. You know, don't worry about what they're thinking. Don't worry about it. People struggle to like themselves every day. <laughs> and I had to figure that out. I really did. And I used to take things personal. You can never take things personal when people are mean to you for no reason. When people act the way they do for no reason. Obviously, they have something going on to where they feel like they, they get a good kick out of that. Just to make themselves feel good. You just keep on moving. But don't forget what your your mission is. Like I, I can't I can't fall short on, on my mission. I can't let things as, you know, my family stopping me from, you know, trying to find out who my family is, even though it's a blessing just to know the information I know. And I know it, things are gonna get better. And things are going to get better for you too. Um, if you would, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so when I upload, you'll get you'll be the first one to know. And like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild. Namaste, love and light and blessings. Bye.